Okay, so I started with a sketch. I guess that's usually how you do it. And I just worked on it a little bit, kind of longer than I normally would before I jump into the details, but I went ahead and got the sketch out there. I used about three references, and so I'm kind of making up much of the details uh, as I go. Uh, you can see I got these antlers, uh, that antler way too big, so I shrunk it. So anyway, I decided then to start a new layer where I could ink it, and then I'll have the black lines and delete that sketch uh, from the original layer. You'll notice I flip it every once in a while, flipping your artwork you can do it on a digital app like this uh, it helps you to kind of reset your brain and notice your mistakes and so you'll see me flip it every once in a while so then I started in a new new layer and just began blocking in some colors uh, underneath those lines that I had drawn and uh, at this point I still didn't know if I was going to keep the lines which would have made it more of a cartoon look, or if I was gonna get rid of the lines and make it more realistic. So as I continued to work the piece and add some details and some, some shading and highlights and, and getting it the way I wanted to, it became obvious that I was gonna want it to be more realistic. So, I decided then to eventually get rid of the black lines. You'll see me pop them back in every once in a while just to uh, just to see, make sure this is where the direction I want to go. And without with those lines gone, now I would just bring out the details and start working on shaping this thing and, and making the uh, uh, the light the light source evident, and that will create the the lines instead of the black lines. You just use light and shade. Okay, so I usually struggle with backgrounds and didn't really know what I wanted to do in the background. If you put too much detail in the background, it takes away from the focus. So I decided just to do a simple blurred background and I really like the way that it turned out. As I started adding some white highlights to the hairs and different things that the, would catch the light, I started thinking about wanting some warmer colors on the piece and so eventually I'm going to add another light source that's going to bring a yellowish uh, warm tone over the whole uh, thing, kind of like it's shining from the back of the deer and that adds a, a really nice effect. As I worked a little more on the eyes, um, here's a good tip. The details don't have to be all over the whole piece. Uh, really, the main details are going to be in the places that you want to catch the eye and you want to focus on. And so if you put too many details all over the whole piece, it actually loses its power and its effect. And so you only want to mainly focus on the details that are that you really want to be seen. So obviously the eyes are something that are always going to attract the attention. And so you want to make sure you get those details right. And then some of the hairs and stuff that the light catches makes it interesting. And then also, um, if you're adding a secondary light, you want that to, to shine in and bring in that warm color. And these are the kind of things I thought about as I was making it. So the rest of this piece is pretty much just blending in um, the different textures of the fur, making sure that I keep my sh shadows and my highlights. And again, I'm not too worried about, for instance, the, the back of the deer, its body um, worked very loosely on the texture there. I didn't put a whole lot of detail because 
that's not where I wanted the focus to be. I, I just recently uh, found a new feature. Many are aware of this uh, feature called Liquify. And you see me a minute ago, I, I kind of warped the picture a little bit. You can liquefy and it allows you to move those lines wherever you want them to go. That just stretched it out so that I could re repaint it. I didn't like the shape of it. So there you go. I put my signature on it and, uh, and it is good to go. Uh, one of the favorite pieces that I've done so far in this um, kind of series, I guess you could say, I've just been working on a lot of animals. I really like the way this one turned out. I hope to be able to do more of these as time allows.